welcome to part five of our series on the language and culture of Hungary. Hi, my name is Peter Nemes. Before we move on to the language section of the series, this video will give you a brief sketch about Hungary's culture and some helpful travel tips. This is probably my favorite topic, so let's jump right in. First, food. Who doesn't like food? Uh, Hungarians are very proud of their cuisine. It's probably most well known for the use of paprika, but it, that's not the only spice we use. Hungarian food is very rich, um, and probably one of the best known is gulyash, which is uh, shown here on the right in its original and proper form, which is a very thick, hearty stew cooked over an open fire. This was traditionally the food of the uh, herders of cattle. Um, it is uh, an excellent, an excellent dish. Uh, the most famous wine from Hungary is probably the Tokai, which is a sweet dessert wine uh, that uses noble rotten grapes uh, in part of its production process. This is a, a one of only two regions in the world that create wine in this particular way. Uh, we also have fantastic desserts like the Somlega Galushka, which is a form of uh, trifle um, that um, is just heavenly. Uh, now, once you've eaten, um, or thought about food, we can move on to other aspects of culture. For example, music, which is one of the easiest to translate or uh, not to translate. It doesn't need translation, and because of that, it is fairly well known around the world. Um, these are two of the most famous composers uh, that came out of Hungary. One is Liszt Ferenc, or Franz Liszt, uh, who was also a very established and famous pianist in the 19th century, and one of the most important romantic composers. And the, sec uh, and, the, and the second one is Béla Bartók, uh, one of the most uh, important composers of the first part of the 20th century uh, in the world. There are, of course, other forms of musical entertainment that are an um, important part of Hungarian culture. Uh, some are also m more accessible. This is uh, an image of a Roma musical group Quite often, they will be also found to be uh, playing in restaurants, a kind of form of popular entertainment, um, and they, um, they are an important part of Hungarian and Roma culture. Uh, traveling around in Hungary, um, you will see a lot of beautiful places. Uh, there are many beautiful uh, architectural uh, monuments. This is the castle in Esterháza, also called the Hungarian Versailles which is famous for its intact, uh, beautiful um, castle and garden. This is in the western part of Hungary, uh, close to the Austrian border. Another very famous building is, is the Opera House in Budapest. It's, part of, it's on the UNESCO heritage list. And it is one of the premier opera centers in the European continent, um, with very famous uh, musicians and uh, singers performing here on a daily basis. Budapest itself is a premier tourist destination. This is the chain bridge, the oldest bridge, the oldest permanent bridge that is still in use. There are uh, eight bridges uh, from going from Buda to Pest, or, or the other way around. And um, they all have their distinct uh, kind of personality. The chain bridge is the oldest one and probably the most charming one. A very important uh, aspect of Hungarian travel or travel culture and also part of Hungarian, what Hungarians enjoy is their bathing culture. Hungary has a high number of thermal baths, hot springs, that allow uh, for these uh, uh, special uh, treatment and, and spa. Essentially, these are spas um, that developed over centuries. The one on the right here was built by the Turks during the time of, their, of the Ottoman uh, Empire's reign over Hungary uh, almost 500 years ago. Um, besides the many beautiful baths in Budapest, Hungary is also gives place to one of the biggest thermal lakes in Europe, the Havis Lake. Again, this is something that Hungarians and tourists can enjoy uh, greatly. Hungarian um, culture has, of course, many facets, and some of which are little or less known in the West or around the world. Uh, for example, we have a great number of, of outstanding writers, novelists, and poets, uh, but literature, because it is tied so deeply to language, 
and Hungarian is one of the lesser known or less than commonly thought, taught languages around the world. It is simply never quite made it on the world stage. But Hungarians are very proud of their culture and of their literature, and um, it always helps to, um, to bring this up uh, when conversing with Hungarians. There's some very famous Hungarian inventions that are tied to Hungarian inventors. One of the most uh, recognizable one, of course, is the Rubik's Cube. Uh, that was invented uh, sometimes in the 70s by an architect, Hungarian architect by the name of Erne Rubik, who originally thought of this as a teaching tool for, for architects. I mean, this modular little cubes, but then it really uh, fast became one of the most well-known toys around the world. There are a few other inventions that I just want to mention uh, that maybe people are not aware that they have Hungarian origins. One is the the, uh, the silent match from the late 19th century that was invented by Hungarian chemist. Ballpoint pen is also a Hungarian invention, and so is the hologram. Uh, the whole technology of the hologram goes back uh, to a Hungarian physicist. And then finally, before, we, uh, before I give you a couple of travel tips, just a few images of native uh, Hungarian animals or breeds, um, the Vizsla, the Komondor, which is a huge, which is a big guard dog, and probably the best known in the West is the little Puli, a little herd dog with, with dreadlocks, uh, that was currently made famous by the fact that the founder of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, has one of them, a white one. Uh, horsemanship is also an important part of Hungarian culture, especially in the Eastern Plain region, where a very distinct horse culture has developed, and this is still part, especially of places with. Uh, where, where tourists uh, visit and they have wonderful shows um, that are certainly to grab everybody's attention. Now, when traveling in Hungary, you can expect that Hungarians are generally very friendly people. Um, people in the bigger cities, and especially younger people, will also speak English um, well. The other language that is most commonly spoken in Hungary is German. Uh, you can definitely expect to eat and drink a lot, Hungarians are very proud of their cuisine, and they definitely want to feed everybody that comes their way, both in restaurants and especially in a home setting. It's very hard to refuse a Hungarian when he wants to feed you or give you drinks. One last uh, uh, advice for travelers from the US, interpersonal space can appear a little smaller. Um, that's simply uh, uh, just a feature of, of uh, how people are used to to stand and basically uh, interact with others. Thank you for watching this segment about the Hungarian culture and tips for traveling in Hungary. Please join us for our next three videos where Valeria Varga will teach you how to speak basic Hungarian. Thank you.